If you knew what the term MF meant, would you use it again? Stay tuned. God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me this morning on Morning Nuggets. I pray that this Friday morning finds you exceptionally well. It is my absolute pleasure every time I come and speak with you. If you knew what the word MF or some would say mofo, if you don't want to say the word, you know, Pastor Nate doesn't use profanity, so I'm not going to say it. But you know what I'm talking about. If you know what that word means, will you continue to use it? Now, Ephesians 4.29 says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Corrupt meaning anything that's going to tear you down or, or paint you in a negative light, make you feel less than inferior, make you feel like the scum of the earth. And this word MF does all that and more. Friend, it has racial implication. Back in slavery, the slave master used to go out and force himself and have sex with the women, treating them like objects, raping them, uh, violating, treating them in a very inhumane way. Many times they wanted uh, more slaves, so they would use the women to get more slaves, like breeding farms, like you would breed animals. Yes, like a cow or a bull mating with the heifers. And if I'm not mistaken, I think a bull is responsible for 20 or 30 females because breeding, that's how they made, that's how farmers made their money. In another instance, they would have a healthy guy uh, being responsible for women mating and breeding with them. They call them breeding because they treated them like animals. And this young man would go from woman to woman. He was forced to do that to have sex with them so they could have more slaves. And in many instances, they would put something over the male's head so he wouldn't see who he's having sex with because it could be his mother. Oh, friend, will you continue to use that word now? Oh, my God. So that's where the word MF originated from. Friend, we got to stop using these racial slurs toward each other. We expect uh, others not to use those words toward us, but we use them within our community uh, against each other. And just think about it. It's kind of reliving that moment again. You're cursing your black brothers and your black sisters. Is that why we're struggling so much? Because our words are very powerful and we use those words against each other. MF. And I know it can be funny sometimes because I was ignorant to the fact and I used to listen to comedians say those words, you know, before I really matured in Christ. I don't listen to a lot of filth now. Um, and I would just laugh and just get a kiki and hee haw. I mean, Samuel Jackson, he's funny. I don't know if he really knows what it means. I'm sure maybe he's just using that to make his money because that's a lot of his punchline. But I would not use that word, especially uh, toward people within our race, if I knew all that went on doing slavery. Ooh. Friend, if you like what you're hearing, like, subscribe and share. I'll be bringing more of these. Thank you for your support. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time, my friend.